reverence your holy name. We come before that supremacy to ascribe our loyalty to your name. We thank you for the assignment of this season. Thank you for what you did yesterday. Thank you for the grace of another day. Thank you to continue in the divine assignment of this year crusade. We worship and we bless your holy name. Father, we ascribe unto your name. We come before thy presence this evening. Lord, we confess all kinds of atrocities, all attitude of unrighteousness, every ungodliness. Father, we plead for mercy. We ask for forgiveness tonight. That you will create in us a new heart. You will renew in us a right spirit. You will cast us not away from your presence. You will take not the Holy Spirit from us. You will restore unto us your joy of salvation. In our meeting tonight, Lord, we ask, O oh God, let there be open heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, have your way today, gathering. Lord, possess our life with your power. Lord, visit Hallelujah. us with your presence. At the end of today's ministration, Lord, we will feel your presence in our midst. Thank you because you will bless us. Thank you because you will manifest your glory. Even your servant that you have prepared and all other ministrations tonight. Father, show forth your glory tonight. Blessed be the holy name. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. Amen. Can we celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus. Thank you. Now to the mass choir to lead us in praise and worship. God bless you.
Amen. I ask you to put your hands together for Jesus. Or Lord Otoni Agbara. No one like him. He is going to visit you today. He is going to visit me today. Right there where you are. Begin to send messages to your colleague to begin to come. Jesus is already waiting for them with a miracle. There is a miracle waiting for everybody here today. Send a message to your friend. Let him come so that he will not miss that open door today. Glory be to Jesus. So I want you to wave your hands to the King of Kings. The one that can do what no one else can do. The Almighty. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The I am that I am. I want you to appreciate him for what he did here yesterday. Thank him. Thank him for what he's going to do here today. For the salvation he wrought in our midst. For the wonders, signs and wonders. Healings, miracles. Wave your hands to him and say we are grateful to you. We are grateful because we know today will be a multiplication of that of yesterday. Thank you. 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 We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. I want you to be wonderfully seated. I want to welcome you again. So as you are seated, just send a message to your friend to come. A miracle is waiting for him. A miracle is waiting for her. A miracle is waiting for him. A miracle is waiting for her. Send a message to him. Let him rush here. Glory. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to welcome all our leaders, uh, all the fellowships, our vice chancellor, the principal officers, or the president of the fellowship that are here. We want to welcome all of you. We want to move further this uh, evening as we take another playlet from our brethren, from all the way from Lagos. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. God has to remind while preparing this program. He has even prepared some vessels from Lagos to come here to bless you. Yesterday when they ministered, it was awesome, wonderful. It was marvelous. Today will be greater and you will be blessed. Join me in as we welcome the Watchman Catholic Charismatic Campus Fellowship all the way from Lagos to present the playlet this evening. And God will bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're here this evening to present a drama titled Eternity. And this evening, as you watch this drama, the Lord will bless you. Stay tuned.
Vero C. I also go to church. Yes, we do. And I read the Bible too. It's not every time you be reading the Bible. Sometimes you go out and flex and enjoy your life. Uh -huh. Look at me now. Every, every time you see me, this stuff. What? I'm not reading my Bible study time. Grace, don't be violent. Uh -huh. See, see. Drop it to my grandma. Let's go somewhere. Do you, you know that place, that picture that you saw? You thank know that place you. I told me about that I want to go? Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going. You are not going. Force. I'm not going. Count me out. Why? My Bible study. Besides, we have a Bible study fellowship today. Are you not going? Are you not coming for the fellowship? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Bible study. Go what? You will not go out and flex. Every time you go to church, you read Bible. We have Bible study fellowship. Are you coming? Yes. You are not coming. I'm not coming, of course. I'm, I'm studying my Bible. We have a fellowship today. You are not. I'm leaving you. You can go, my sister. You can go. Okay, oh. This one, Bible, Bible every time. What is your opinion? So, choose the one. One lepa, one loaded. Yes. I know this stingy. I will give you. I will give you two. You need three. I will give you. I did I miss. I'm going to drink this. I never know what I will shop tomorrow. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. Go, go. I will want you. Good afternoon, can I help you? Yes, I'm Miriam Pan, I was actually going to say city center. Oh, Miriam Pan. Okay, you are zero two four, right? Yes, I'm zero two four. What can I do for you? Yes, I'm looking for your results. Your results? Yes. I thought I've told you. I've told you this thing. Like, meet me by 5 p.m. tomorrow at the hotel. Simple. Yes, sir. No stress. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. It's against my faith that I do this thing. Sir. Against your faith as yes, a Christian. Yes, sir. But the other Christians doing it. Ah. 
please, I don't have time. I've told you this. See, you yes, said we don't want to graduate. You yes, said we don't want to graduate. God, you see, in this school, I am your God. In this school, I am your God. And see, I don't have time. See, you, you, it's God you want to serve at school. Don't worry. Let that God come and see you. Please don't disturb me. I have to wait. Yeah, please. Where are you? Lost our own papa. Hi, just like that. Ah, oh, God. How can life be so short? How can do you know all the things we had to do and we almost we I still say we lost it somewhere. Oh God. to be called a baba. What, what do you mean by that? What? Why would you say such a thing? One very rare afternoon, I went to meet Papa for counseling. Yes. He told me to come to his house. Okay. And he locked the door. He said he wanted privacy. of what she's saying. Like, no! Here we are thinking even went to heaven. 
we can't even balance. We can't. We can't judge what you're saying by the papa we know. Are you sure it's yes. from Mike? Are you sure it's I'm our sorry. own papa? Papa loves us. He brought me reproach. He deserves to die. No. Oh, he deserves to die. My God. Do you know what that means? You said he was going to heaven because yes, he has. He has stars, stars on his crown. He has not of his now. Jesus, save us. Sister Blessing, how can you say such a thing when he's not alive? Sister Blessing. to fulfill God's mandate. But you choose the other way. There is a way that seems right to a man. But the end thereof is not. You choose the way that seems right to you. The way of the world. And here you are. Eternity. The path, the path, the path into eternal condemnation. For you have no place in the kingdom of God.
Daughter of the Most High God. Finally. Welcome to eternity in heaven. Wow. I'm so happy. Welcome. I'm so happy. Welcome into eternity. To spend your time, your life with God. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. I made it at last, finally. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. So, where am I? Where am I? Like this? Oh. Where am I? Ben! You played God while you were in the campus. You never acknowledged the God, your creator. You never feared him.
this must be the way to heaven. No, the angels are expecting me. I did exploits. I did campus programs. Those in my hostel they knew me. I fasted. I paid my tithe. I had four versions: King James, Good News, NIV. I was reading it. The angels are waiting for me. Listen, I have a mansion in heaven. All my calling, all my labor will not be in vain. I can hear the angels sing. That reminds me of old old days when I fasted, old days when I prayed, helping the brethren to make sure that they are okay. I know the angels are waiting for me. They should come and touch my mouth and say, "Look what I did." God's power. Sanctuary. You cause have a sorrow. Not only a real one. You are a shame. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. God's power. You were supposed to represent uh, me here on earth. Have mercy, Lord. But you disappointed me. One more chance, Lord. One more chance.
Pastors, we document your testimonies, and when the time comes, we are going to invite you to come and share your testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Tell your neighbor, God will bless me today. God will touch me today. He will not pass me by. As we move towards uh, the read how we are waiting for, uh, the mass choir should begin to prepare so that uh, they can come and minister. But before then, since we still have our mother in the house, we are going to invite her to just say one or two things to the children here. So join me to invite our vice chancellor. Just to say one or two things to greet your children and uh, encourage us. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you are happy to be here, shout hallelujah. If you were here yesterday, just wave your hand to Jesus. If you didn't come, ask yourself, why didn't I come? I think you missed, but the mercy of God is still available. Mercy is still available. And we we'll all, God will show all of us mercy again in Jesus' name. Let me welcome us once again, everybody, to the presence of God. How did I know God is here? The Bible says, where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in their midst. So I know God is here because we are gathered in the name of God. And as you come today, I believe your table is waiting for again did I know that you will get up? Acts chapter 10 verse 38, the Bible says, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth and he went about doing good and healing all manners of persons because God was with him. So I know that if he's here, he will surely visit me. Who else believes that he will visit him or her today? You believe he will visit you, shout hallelujah. Again, like I said yesterday, please send messages to your colleagues, your friends, and let them know that God is here already. Since we said 4.30, Jesus was waiting. Uh, he doesn't waste time. And I also know that he keeps to time. From 4.30, Jesus was here, waiting for all of us. Call your friends, call your neighbors, send messages to them. Please tell them that Jesus is still here waiting for them. And I believe that as they come, God is going to minister to all of us. Again, like I said yesterday, don't ask for cookies when it is time to ask God for something. Ask God for original legit matter. Eh, the guy said something was legit. Was it really legit? No. No other legit except Jesus. Who agrees with me? You agree. The only legit is Jesus. Hallelujah. And I heard him say whether it's leper or what, or loaded. The Bible says, all things are beautifully and wonderfully made, isn't it? Whether it's leper or it's loaded, everything, God made them all, and God made all things beautiful. So, whichever way you choose to go, God is there and God is waiting. Cry for mercy today when it is time to pray, because mercy is only available on earth. There is no mercy. I've 
after this word. And I believe that as we pray to God, again, not for cookies. As for things that only God can give. If you were here yesterday, you listened to the testimonies, you saw the miracles. You know that those are not things like 50K, like things that God, that man can give. They were things that only God could give. And that's what you should again ask, for God, ask from God tonight. And I believe that as we ask, we do not have, we do not have a God who cannot listen. The Bible says his ears are, are not shut, that he cannot hear us. So as we call on him, I believe that he's going to answer us in Jesus' name. God bless us all as we continue to wait on him. And I also want to welcome our dad in the Lord and his team. Though he's not here, but I believe he will join us soon. He's here in the spirit, our daddy, daddy, Ada Ramola, and his team. I want to use this opportunity to thank the principal officers, deans, directors, and the heads of the fellowships, and all our students who made this a reality. Uh, you are again putting footer in the high pedestal. Thank you so much for always coming. Footer praise and footer praise. Thank you. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. In the life of our vice chancellor, we have a vice chancellor that is preaching the gospel. Glory to Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't forget, if you have a testimony from yesterday, please go to the right hand side here to meet the pastors there so that uh, they can document your testimonies and you'll be given the opportunity. And if you are within the coverage of the voice of this uh, public address system, it's an opportunity for you. Don't let this moment pass you by. Come around. Jesus is waiting for you. Just come here and you will be blessed. Uh, it's time to invite the mass choir of the Federal University of Technology. Uh, let's put our hands together for them. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yesterday it was wonderful. Today it will be better. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 what a wonderful Jesus, name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Receive your healing. for Jesus for that. Now, as you are jamming your hands together for Jesus, know that your home is on the way. Hallelujah. We have, um, uh, this is Ojo Marvelous from Fishwin and Aqua, Aqua Culture. He said, he or she said, she said, she has neck pain. Mm, neck pain, severe neck pain. But in the latter day, when we man of God, she got healed yesterday. And I know that if there's anyone here to Jesus is going to heal you in the name of Jesus. Also, um, several pains was healed, um, healed last, um, healed of pain, healed of pain. Also.
also asthma. This person said for microbiology. Didn't put name. Okay. Then Ola Gode Jesuge said she's healed of rheumatism yesterday. Hallelujah. Healed of rheumatism. That's a very terrible sickness. Amen. Then another person said, I do say, I do Israel said, I'm healed of back pain yesterday. Healed of back pain. Hallelujah. Then this person said, she's healed of both headache and stomach pain. Yesterday, this is Kendi. I don't know that department. Healed of back pain and stomach pain yesterday. So these are the few ones you just shared today. Now I want you to know, it is your night. Tell your neighbor again, say tonight is my night. Right, so, please don't forget us. Please help us to put it back there. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow and like our Facebook so that you can watch this program live again. Listen to the message of our messages too and the Lord will bless you in Jesus. And say is it is the power of God for those of us who are born again. Therefore, I want you to know that the power of God is here today. And there will be life changing encounters today by the grace of God. Amen. One little thing I want to make for us before I invite our God is this. I know God is into making de changing destinies today. Believe God that you will also be like our daddy. You will become a citywide evangelist, or rather a worldwide evangelist. Please open up your heart because there will be multiple dimensional miracles here tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So on this note, permit me to invite our Father in the Lord. Pastor M.K. Adaramola has the Lord begin to reign shame as of blessing. I, I just clapping is for Jesus. Put it together, jam it very well. It's worthy to be praised. Of the school, I have to 
appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Uh, choir, God bless. I pray that you will sing in heaven. All our technical, uh, all our instrumentalists, God bless you. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate everybody. Tonight, Usually when we prophet, we say the last day is for prayers. For this campus, for you, that's how we get to prayer the place for the people you have yours. And when the have that feeling, and you couldn't get one, just tell you to the back, write your prayer test on it. And the God that answers prayers, we answer our prayers. So I need to pray for everybody. But beyond that, I don't feel like you will say it tonight. All the pastors, whether from the staff or from the students, that go to be transferred. Don't let it complete tomorrow. So don't miss it. This crusade is not ordinary crusade. After we finish, all of us who are men and women of God, something will rest upon your life in the name of Jesus. Can we just put our hands and say, Lord, thank you for what you are going to do tonight. Let's appreciate you for the miracles that will be taking place tonight. Let's take our hands and say, Jesus, mighty name we pray. Our Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We thank you for what you did yesterday. And thank you for what you are going to do tonight. Take all the glory. Take all the praise in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that tonight that you will surprise us. Surprise us. Bless us. Let that be deliverance tonight. Let that be miracle tonight. Thank you, Father. Satan, you cannot be here. Because we are here. I find and I cast away in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Let's uh, see that. I forgot to introduce my own people. That follow me. Uh, this is Pastor Rivali. God bless you, sir. For being here. That's one of our senior pastors. I know that your sin must have been forgiven. Your sin must have been hid under the blood of Jesus Christ. That simply means that on the last day, God will not see any sin again. The only thing you will see is the blood. And so, I want to congratulate you if you took that step yesterday and you pray for forgiveness of your sin. But tonight, I want to share with you about Jesus' number one mission to the world. Jesus, everybody, number one mission to the world. We are looking at Jesus' number one mission. What he came to do. We have said part of it yesterday. But this is a 
you know, the, the summary of it today. And Jesus' number one mission to the world and to you in particular is for the deliverance. Your deliverance from the power of sin. It's not enough to have your sin forgiven. What is most important is that after you are forgiven, then sin to have no power over your life. I've seen a lot of people that love God. What they are doing, they don't like it. They don't want to commit sin. They know that sin is against the will of God. They know that sin will command the anger of God. So, but... Because sin has a binding power, many of them even fast and pray so that they could be free from sin, from the power of sin. And a lot of people are overtaken. Tonight, there will be a deliverance in your life. This crusade is going to be a complete and total. Amen. People talk about deliverance from demons. Yes, we are going to address that too. But they don't talk about what is even stronger than demon itself, which is sin. And tonight, you are going to receive a deliverance from the power of sin in Jesus' name. Nobody who confessed Jesus that will say that he doesn't love God. For somebody even to pick his Bible and go to church, something inside of him really wants to serve God. But we find out that a lot of people are not free from sin. Now we begin to wonder. Sometimes we even castigate them. Sometimes we even preach against them. We have discovered that there is a power that sin lord itself on people. And they need divine deliverance from above. And so that's why we address this issue tonight. As we used to do in many of the campuses that we have gone. So I said, Jesus, number one mission to the world, or better still, to you as a person, is your total freedom from the power of sin. In my note, I paint the word power. I'm not even talking about deliverance from sin, but from the power of sin. Sin is one thing that God will never condone. In any, no matter whom the person is, no matter the kind of talent that he has, no matter the kind of gift that he has, there's one thing that can be in your life that God will distance himself. You might pray and pray and pray, and God is coming to you. The moment he can spot sin, whatever may be the fraction of that sin, whether small or big or whatever, God will just withdraw. It doesn't matter what that person is saying about God. It doesn't matter the kind of song that is rendering to God. And everybody is getting blessed in that song. If God can find just an atom of sin, God will look away. Let the person be as great as David of the Bible. If God spots sin, God is going to leave. And so that's why sin has to be addressed in a man's life. Amen. If you are hearing me, wave your hand to Jesus Christ. When you are waving, you are showing me, say, I'm with you, sir. Say amen. amen. I repeat myself. Where there anointing. We remove him. Why? Well, because sin gives Satan legal ground to afflict people. I know a man of God in the Bible. They call his name Joshua the high priest. He's not the Joshua at the time of Moses. He's another Joshua, but he was a high priest. And the office of the high priest in Israel happened to be the greatest office because the priest Usually stand between God and the people. But unfortunately, the Bible says 
Satan stood in his right hand of a priest of God. Right hand of power. Right hand of anointing. He stood in his right hand to resist him. He was to resist, to fight. And say, you don't have right to, to do what you are saying here. And the Bible says that he was wearing a filthy garment. Tonight, every filthiness in your life, the blood of the Lord will wash it away. And God sent an angel, go and remove that cloth from him and give him a change of raiment. That's the answer to Satan. But tonight, we are talking about Jesus, one greatest mission. I read my first scripture, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew 1, 21. And I believe we should, tonight we should have it on the screen. For those who have no Bible, let it be read in large. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name, tell me, Jesus, for he shall save his people into their sin. Eh? Peter's students are not following. Are you following me? He shall save his people from what? From their sin. That's why he came. We know there are other reasons. He has come to bless. He has come to make provision. He has come to heal. But the number one mission, why he was born. Yesterday I told you that the word, that Jesus became flesh. Why he agreed to put on the human body is to deal with the problem of sin. And the Bible says he shall save his people from their sin. So only those who have been saved. You see, sometimes we say, this man, I, I have salvation. I'm saved. The question is, saved from what? You must be saved from something. All those who are saved from nothing, they are not really saved. They are not born again. There must be something that God delivers you from. If I tell you my story, you will, you will, you will know that if God to sell salvation. God will have said, don't sell salvation to this world. I mean, if God is just okay, I want to be selling it. Even if I have the money to buy, by virtue of all that I have done before I was born again, God will not have allowed the salvation to be sold to me. But thank God for grace. I said, thank God for grace. He saved me. And so by grace, you can be saved. So his mission is to save you. Save everyone from their sin. Now listen. You might be surprised for hearing all these kind of messages. I told God that I want to specialize and specialize in the area where people are not available. If it's miracles, there are those who can perform it. In fact, with a wave of hand, if it's a prosperity, there are those who specialize on that. I can't beat them. If it's deliverance, it is crusade that will be deliverance, but it's not my area of specialty. My area of specialty is this number one mission of Jesus. Salvation from sin, and tonight you'll be saved. Amen. And the moment it happens in your life, every other problem is solved. John chapter 5, verse 14. Are you with me here? John chapter 5, verse 14. After what Jesus found him in the temple, here is a man that was healed. If you are among those who are healed yesterday, you were blessed yesterday. Now, this man also was healed. The eyes was opened. But the next day, Jesus found this man in the temple. And he said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. 
you have been healed. Sin no more. Can you say that with me? You are quiet now. Sin no more. Lest a worse thing come unto you. Can you not see that sin is what brings problems? That what brings all the suffering into a man's life. Jesus repeated the prayer, I mean the word, in the same John chapter 8 verse 11. 8, 11. She said, no man, Lord. This was a woman that was caught in adultery, very close to the temple of God. And they brought her to Jesus. And Jesus said, if you know you have never seen in your life, pick the first stone and stone the woman. And they all fled. And Jesus now faced the woman. We are adult your accusers. He said, they have gone. Jesus didn't say, well, my grace has saved you. But Jesus had to warn her. And he said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. What is the reason why sin becomes a big issue today? Why? That sin, even after you are born again, sin doesn't believe that you can be free from its hand. What's the reason? That you find sin everywhere. You know, thank God for social media. You know what is going on in Nigeria? And it's not only in Nigeria. It's all over the world. There's no nation that is free from sin. Everyone is committing sin. What is the reason? Because of this singular reason. And the reason is that sin has a binding power. Sin. Everybody? Everybody? Why I talk to me, everybody has a binding power. That is, there is a power that binds people. That sin has over men. And tonight, by the authority in the name of Jesus, you are going to be delivered. Amen. And I want to show you this binding power in three ways. Number one, Sin is a slave master. Number one, sin is what? A slave master. Sin is slavery. Let me read what Jesus said. John chapter 8, verse 34. John 8, 34. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, when you read your Bible and Jesus said, verily, verily, that is truly, truly, that thing is just so serious. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is what? Other oh, translation call it slave of sin. So, if everyone that is given to sin is a slave to sin, it means that sin is a slave master. I know we are in the modern time. We don't know what about slavery. But when you read your Bible and you see in Egypt when the children of Israel were in slavery and Pharaoh set up tax master over them to afflict them, to make them to do things that they didn't want to do. Shout hallelujah. So sin is like that. It's a tax master. Meaning that there are so many things we do that we don't love to do. There are so many things we say and we don't want to say it. There are so many things we indulge in and it is not our will to do it. But we don't find ourselves doing it because there is a power that sin weighed on us. Sin is a slave master. There are other references, but because of my time, 
Let me go to number two. I've told you that number one, sin is a slave master. Is the one that weigh that power. Number two, sin is a law. Sin, say with me, is what? A law. When a law is working in anywhere, that law is a force that must be carried out. The law of the land of Nigeria, for example, that law must be enforced. That's law. Let me just read Romans chapter 8. I want you to read, want to read verse 1 and 2. Are you with me, church? God will bless you tonight. Verse 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now we are actually going to verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. You see, when you are born again, the law of the spirit take over your life. That law of the spirit, if you are truly born again yesterday, for example, that law will have commenced to work in your lives. The Bible calls it the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. That law is what will make you to begin to disobey the law of sin. Look at it, verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law, tell me, of sin and death. So, sin is a law. You will find a lot of people find themselves doing what they didn't want to do. Why? Because there is a law working in them. There are young girls that are given to immorality, fornication. And they will say, I don't know why I can't control my urge. Yeah, it's because there's a law. Law of sin that is working in your life. There are those who are given to drugs. There are those who are given to smoking. And then, they don't like it too. They want to be free from it. They know the danger. But they find that they couldn't do without it. There are medical doctors that we have seen that are doing what they know by their knowledge that this thing is dangerous to their body. But because they have been addicted to it, they couldn't be free. We have many of them that are drunkards. We have many good people People will feel that they should be an example in this society. We have many people that are well read. And you, they find themselves in doing things. Are there not many people that being a professor doesn't hinder them not to be their wives? And with just little provocation, somebody that should be an example in this society. The problem is there's a law controlling his life. It's called the law of sin. But when you read this verse very well, you'll see the answer to the law of sin. He said the law of the spirit of life. That life is in Christ Jesus. The law of the spirit of life in Christ has made me free. So no one who is not born again, no one who has not come to Christ and the law of the spirit is working in his or her life, can be free from the law of sin. There are evil preachers. They preach it well. Many of them have no family. They say it well. Many of them are overtaken by what they preach because the law of sin is still working in their lives. Many members of the executive in the fellowship, many president, many Bible study secretary, whatever you call them, you still find them lost in. 
You still find them getting angry, hot temper. And you see this law. Now, do you know that Paul had the same problem? Now, we are in, from verse 19. You are with me. Wave your hand to Jesus. Okay? I've not lost my audience. Thank you. God bless you. Verse 19. said there was a law working in my life. Even though I was a religious fanatic, there was a law. Verse 22. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. I want to do good from inside of me. But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind to the law of sin which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of sin? But I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You understand now that there's a law of sin. Number three. Before we pray, give me number one. Twitter people, give me number one. Give me number two. Now number three. Sin. It's a spirit. What's number three? This one is the toughest one. What's number three? It's a spirit. So when I'm talking about deliverance now, you should know the reason why you need a deliverance from the spirit of sin. Where do I find that in the Bible? Let me just read this scripture. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Are you with me? Chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. And I'll be reading King James Version. Verse 1. And you as a born-again Christian, he was addressing the church. Those who are already saved. You are sick quickened. In the past, he was telling them what happened to them when they were born again. He said they were brought alive. Who were dead, past tense, in trespasses and sin. Verse 2. We are in the time past. Ye walk according to the course of this world. There is a pattern of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air, the uh, the uh, spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. Paul said, "Every sin, all these uh, perversions, there is a prince of the power of the air. Maybe you are hearing for the first time." That controls all this evil. And he said, according to the spirit that is working in the children of disobedience. Let me tell you, fornication is a spirit. It's more than an act. That's why you couldn't stop it. Smoking is a spirit. Even though you don't like it, oh, there's a spirit behind it. Are you to drug? Yes. Everything we call bad habit, there's a spirit behind it. And that's why Satan doesn't want people to be free from sin. Let me give you one or two testimonies before we begin to pray. 
We had a crusade in Lagos. In that crusade, there was a man in that crusade. This man was a Muslim from Kuala State. That was the first time he would be in a Christian garden. So after we preach along this line, we pray, we made that call. I now pray for miracles. So at the time of giving testimony, it was an opportunity for him to tell everybody what happened to him. He said, when the pastor was praying for those who want to be saved, he said, he closed his eyes. He said, because his only problem in life is that drunkenness has destroyed his destiny. He could drink anything. He said, he would go to a beer parlor, maybe with 100,000, buy beer for everybody, and we have no money to take taxi back home. And the next day, he was coming again. He couldn't stop it. He said, but as the prayer was going, he closed his eyes. He said, but he saw something that came out of his body. Very ugly object. And the thing was going, was going, was going. And he dashed to the particular beer parlor he had been spending his life. He said, now the urge to drink has gone. Amen. We are now College of Education, Ikere, now University of uh, Olimulua, something. Was there, and we preach. And after we pray, and then a young man came out. What was his testimony? His parents have taken him to, there was a boy, taking him to so many uh, herbalists for deliverance. What was the problem? At the slightest provocation, he could destroy anything. The anger was just too much that the parent has to say, ah, we must do something about it. He said, but as the prayer was going on, something peeped out of his body and just disappeared. He had the spirit of sin. I don't know what you are battling with in your life. I don't know the lost. And you are using it to serve God. Some of you are born again. I'm not saying you are not born again now. But you know. What is warring against your Christian life? And you are praying quietly and say, Lord, deliver me. And God has answered your prayer that tonight is a night of your deliverance. You will serve God with liberty. You will serve God with, with, with peace in the name of Jesus Christ. So many people are not free from the power of sin. And thank God for the name of Jesus Christ. So tonight, what do you do? Very simple. Yesterday I told you that you acknowledge not only you acknowledge that I know I have problem. Only those who are sick need a physician. If you are not ready to acknowledge that you have problem, you need deliverance, then God will pass you by. So as you acknowledge and you confess your sin and you forsake your sin, then you believe and you cry to God. I can't be giving you testimony because of time. God has been doing it. God has not only given us anointing to cast out demons of sickness, demons of affliction, he has also given us the anointing to cast out demons of sin. This is the greatest problem. Tonight you'll be free. There are those who are given to masturbation and they go for long fasting. God, deliver me. You need the anointing to deliver you. And the anointing will deliver you tonight in Jesus' name. Many of these homosexuals, they are in bondage. It's now they now begin to talk about liberty. Many of them, those who say they are believing Jesus, and they still find that they, can, they, they can't control themselves. The power of God will deliver you. Whatever anything that has become a yoke in your life, tonight it shall be broken. Can we rise up? Oh, wow. You are going to be free tonight. You are going to be free tonight. You are going to be free. You are going to be free. Do you know what? When God deals with this problem in your life, miracle is your birthright. It's past living now. We begin to pray, oh Lord, God is natural. It's your birthright. What hinders it? Why you need big values of prayer is because we are not free totally delivered from the power of sin. 
I don't know how many people want to cry tonight. Are you ready there? And you know, I'm not even saying you are not born again. You can be an official in the fellowship. You might even be preaching. And people are getting healed in your meeting. And you know, you are not free from hot temper. You are not free from lust. You are not free from carnality. You are not free from evil tendency. Sometimes something will be speaking in your mind. And be speaking erotic things. And you will be beating your mind. Stop it. Stop it. No. The power has to be destroyed. You are going to cry and say, Jesus, deliver me tonight. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Future people, pray, pray. Open your mouth and pray. The power of God will deliver you tonight. The Lord is here. It will destroy the power of sin in your life. The power of lust. I want deliverance tonight. I need deliverance tonight. Open your mouth and pray. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You see, people don't cry if I if I lead a prayer now. I say, every other witchcraft over your life, catch fire. I know you will pray more than this one. A pastor died. Pentecost, I don't want to mention the church. One of the foremost good church. And a wife was weeping, was praying. My husband must not go. Because I'm not sure that he will make heaven. I'm not sure. And the woman prayed until the man came back. He said, I am, I was on my way to hell because there's lost in my life. And nobody knew, but the wife knew that this man, so I want you to cry. Are, are you with me here? I will pray for you just now, but the way you cry will show whether the power of God will touch your life. Sometimes you just look, you begin to lost. That power will be destroyed tonight. Are you about to say, Lord Jesus, deliver me now. Oh, you are turning to pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I said, deliver me from the power of sin. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want to pray for you. Place your hand upon your chest. Or let me say rather. You need deliverance from the power of sin. Raise up your right hand. Quickly. Quickly. There are those who are too righteous. They don't need deliverance from the power. Raise up that right hand. Okay. Place the other one upon your chest. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you because of Calvary. As many of these, your people, they are saying tonight, that they want to be free. They want you to set them free. Lord, whatever any sin they have been involved in, I bring them to the foot of Calvary. Forgive them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Forgive all their sins in Jesus' name. And I command every spirit of sin, I break your power over these people. Break in the name of Jesus. Spirit of sin, come out now. Spirit of fornication, come out. Come out. Come out. Spirit of sexual perversion, homosexuality, lesbianism, masturbation. That demon, I bind you. I command you. Come out in the name of Jesus. I break your power. 
I break your power. I break your power. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of hot temper, I break your power. Break it in the name of Jesus. Every demons of lust, I break your power. Break it in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of anger, I break your power. Break it in the name of Jesus. Every demons of flesh, I bind and I cast you away. I cast you away. I say, come out. I say, come out. I say, come out. Every spirit of jealous, envy, every spirit of evil, tendency to do evil, imagination to do evil, thought to do evil, that demons are bound. Come out in Jesus' name. Loose your grip over these people. I bind you. Go away in the name of Jesus. Every bad habit of drinkingness or drunkenness or taking drug or smoking, I break your power. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break now. Break. 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 Break it in the name of Jesus. Be free now. You are free now. You are free now. Go and see no more. Go and see no more. Go and see no more. All the urge to sin, the tendency to sin, I destroy it in Jesus' name. Amen. Satan, remove your hand now. Amen. From the, this life, remove your hand. Amen. Remove your hand from their destiny now. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. If you believe something that happened to you, put your hand together for Jesus Christ. Put it together. Now listen. I've decided not to make altar call tonight. But listen. If you know that you don't belong to any fellowship on campus. And you are invited. Or you just come on your own. You are here. Let me see your hand. I want to specially pray for you. You don't belong to any fellowship on campus. But somebody invited you, or you just you came on your own. Raise up your right hand. Let me pray for you. Where are you? Raise it above your head. Wave it to me. Wave it to me. It's not a crime if you don't belong to any fellowship on campus. I just want to know. Now, I give you count of five. Run to the front here. I want to pray for you. One, two. Three, four, five. Are you putting your hands together? It's okay, it's okay there, it's okay there. Okay, don't worry. Come, 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 come. You are the first target of, of miracle today. Wherever you are, wherever you are. Okay, let me say it. You come to fellowship once in a while. Maybe once in the semester. Or twice. You are not, but from now you want to be consistent and stand for, for Christ. Where are you? Run, 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 run. Join them, join them. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Amen. I, I saw something online today. They, they wrote it on the, at the back of the vest of somebody. He said, I... He said, we don't go to church, but we belong to God. I say it's a lie. I want to pray for you. Are you hearing me? You can't move forward without going to fellowship. Are you hearing me? And the hand of God will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. They will take your name. Uh, they know what to do. And you must belong to a good fellowship that you know that they preach the word of God. You will stand for Christ. Father, I pray for these wonderful children of yours. Lord, I pray that your hand will rest upon them. As they will continue in, in, in Christ, they will never backslide. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Please, I give you just one second. Have you finished the names? How many people are here? Just give them and go and see that. Wave your hand to Jesus everywhere. It's a night of wonders. Are you ready for something? Why I can't hear you now. Are you ready for miracles? Who will be number one tonight? Are you sure? Shout hallelujah. 
Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. You know that the, the more hallelujah you shout, the more angels relocate to you. Amen. Please write it on time as soon as I join them. We want to pray. I want you to understand. Amen. The power of God should be appreciated from God. I can't be giving you testimony of God, what God has done through prayer like this. That there was a case. Uh, when I traveled last year, my son-in-law that married my daughter is in the, both of them are in the U.S. I visited, he's just a student, I mean, on scholarship. I visited them in their university. And I was a professor. He was the one carrying this boy all about with his car. Very humble. Ah! And he's white. <laughs> to a boy. I love him. So when I returned, few weeks after I returned, my son-in-law called me. He said, sir, that professor, you know him? I said, yes. I've been diagnosed for cancer. And he said, to make matters worse, his daughter is in the hospital at a very high stage of cancer also. Now that's what we, that was even the one that was most deadly. I said, no problem. Just arrange for Zoom. The power of God has no, there's no distance. And so, the professor and the wife were sitting and I was giving them scriptures that Jesus took. So when I finish, maybe they didn't even know that they have a dying daughter in the hospital. I say, Mama, that's a wife. You are going to stand in for your daughter. And the cancer in that lady will die. They look, you know, this white people, they look, <laughs> we don't believe. I don't care. I said, let's pray. And I pray and I use the woman as a contact. And I pray for the man, the professor. Then we, about a few weeks later, my son-in-law called. He said, Daddy, there's a testimony. I said, tell me. You know, the lady was in the hospital. They wanted to operate her. By the time they opened her up, they discovered that all the cancer cells had died. So, all the doctors, they didn't know how to explain it, died. So, that encouraged the professor now to go and do tests. <laughs> now, that is online miracle. Now, this is face to face now. Jesus is here face to face with you. And we hear you tonight. Yeah. Wave your hand to Jesus Christ. Amen. Yesterday I told you that if you don't believe in instant miracle, don't raise up hands. Don't raise up hands. Tonight's testimony, I know there are people who are here yesterday that they will give testimony tonight by the time I call people out. And if you are not ready to give the glory to God, don't raise up hands. Two things. You must believe that now. Everybody say now. Instant miracles. Two. I must show appreciation to God. So, wave your hand. Can you say, Jesus, come and touch, my, touch me now. Come and heal me. Heal my body. Heal my sickness. Remove that yoke from me. Amen. Lay your hand upon yourself as we pray. Lay your hand. Father, I thank you because your power is here. When the name of Jesus is there, then you are there. 
I command every territorial powers that sustain demons of sickness. I bind that I cast away in Jesus' name. Every spirit of infirmity I bind you, come out in the name of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity I bind you, I command, I say, come out now. In the name of Jesus. Every blind spirit, whether partial or total, I bind you, come out in Jesus' name. Every demon of deafness, or you cannot hear very well, I bind that demon, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Every demon of dumbness, I bind, come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any form of paralysis, or you cannot walk well, I command that demon, come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, come out. Amen. Every spirit of cancer, die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every demon of hypertension, I brought prayer, I bind you, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Every demon of asthma, I bind you, come out now. I say, come out in the name of Jesus. Every demon of sickness and disease, I break your power. I cancel every kidney problem, every heart problem, every liver problem. Be canceled in Jesus' name. Epilepsy, I bind you, come out in the name of Jesus. Sickle cell anemia, I receive order. And I convert your genotype from SS to become AA now. Amen. Demons of sickness come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive your miracle. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Every spirit of pain come out. Atrachis come out. Amen. Romantic pain come out. Amen. In the name of Jesus, demons of my green, I break your power. I say, come out now. Come out now. That lady, you cannot coordinate very well. I command that demon that is troubling your brain. Come out in Jesus' name. Receive your healing. I say, receive. I say, receive. You are here now. You are here now. The pain is gone. I command creative miracles. I command creative miracles. Every part of you that is missing, be recreated in Jesus' name. You believe so, man. You believe so, man. You believe so, man. Can you wait and say, Jesus, thank you. Give him praise. Give him praise. There are miracles here tonight. Already I can begin to smell. Miracle is there. Is somebody worshiping God? Is somebody praising God? Say God, thank you for my healing. Thank for my deliverance. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Say I'm healed. No negotiation. So Satan, no negotiation. No negotiation. Say I'm healed. Shout hallelujah. I want to give you three minutes. How many minutes? Check yourself. And tell Satan, no negotiation. You are not going with me. So, anything you couldn't do, that's why we dance. Some people are not, they were not ready to dance yesterday. They think we are just playing. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Are you ready for us? Huh? Give him another man. Please don't waste our time. Listen, if you are healed, you will dance. If somebody is not dancing, just leave that place for him and go to another place. Praise you, the Lord of my soul. This is the day he has made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm 
is it the Lord of my soul? This is the day I swear. Hallelujah, hallelujah. satisfy me but because of time i expect the choir to dance like this dance like this and teach them how to dance and go like hallelujah this. that's what i expect glory with you to jesus father we worship you i can Jesus. smell miracle thank everywhere thank you now father, we amen you. amen the first person you know you are here tonight let me see your right hand you are you are sure are you sure not too Hallelujah. many. Father, we Are you sure? Father, we I will count ten. Father, we One, don't let them go beyond this place, please. Two, run, 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 run. here. If you are healed and you know the pain is gone, just it's not everybody gave testimony yesterday. So I want to give you count of ten now. Wherever you are, you know God touched you and you want to give the glory to God and I will cover it with the blood of Jesus. Wave your hand to me. Wave those hands. Wave your hand. Are you hearing me? I said wave your hand. Are you hearing me? Wave it to me. Wave, wave, wave. This is how to wave hand. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So if you are healed, I give you 10. One, quickly, quickly, come out, come out, come out, come out. Two, put those hands together, footer. Three, four, five, six, put those hands together. Seven, Wave your hand to me. Wave your hand to Jesus. Okay? Wave it. I can pray and you will not be healed. It's impossible. Check yourself. Check yourself. Wherever you are, wherever you are, and you know you are healed, 
I'll give you another chance. I'm counting five now, just five. Run out, run out, run out. Father, tonight, I cover everyone that have been healed before me now. I cover every miracle with the blood of Jesus. Your affliction will never return. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, healing, healing programs used to take time. The anointing is working. You just discover your own. You join us as we be giving testimony. Can we sit down? As we be giving testimony. Wherever you are, you know you are healed. God has touched you. You don't want to keep it to yourself. Run out now. And please, those who are, you know, announcing, let's do it on time so that we can close this meeting. I told you before I started, listen for tomorrow with the final day. Tomorrow is special, and I will beg for a little time. We want to pray. To pray for you. There's a prayer I usually pray in campus crusades. And I used to say that African students should take their place in the world. And more so that this is a technological university. I want God to place his hand upon your brain that you will not just leave this school and begin to seek for employment and you'll be employer of labors. That God will give you the power of innovation and you'll be able to invent that many inventions that has never been. Not the one you go and copy and say you want to do a slasher. You'll see it in YouTube and you'll repeat it. In your mechanical, you know, you will invent. Not everything has been discovered. There are things that have not been discovered. The anointing will come down tomorrow. I need to give you a testimony. Please, those who are interviewing, I'm just trying to wait for you. Uh, we had a crusade in um, Ekuma, Ambrose Ali. And then I prayed this prayer. Then later, we had another crusade in a Uniben, University of Benin, just for a crusade like this. And one of, not knowing that I was a student who came from Ekuma to Uniben for something. I now heard that God for a crusade is there. He now attended. The only testimony he came out. He said, when you came to our school, 200 level student. He said, as you pray, God just opened up my brain and he wrote a book. Where is, uh, hello, who is helping me? Benga, are you there? Oh, a book on what? Anatomy. And what happened to the book? Eh? The school adopted 200 level students, adopted the book. Eh? You may not even clap. You don't like it. So, Something will happen here tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Tell your friends, God will rewrite your destiny. Amen. Then we are going to pray for this school. No student or staff will die anyhow in this school. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Every altar of Satan in any part of this university will catch fire. Amen. Look at their amen. I don't like it. Amen. Can I have testimony? Pastor, there's a great testimony here. This brother said he has been suffering from the spirit of lust. Serious, terrible one. That immediately after prayer, I think it was a salvation prayer, that his, that spirit left him. Say he has been trying to control himself on that aspect. He couldn't help himself. Wow. But he know that tonight... Something came out of his body you two stand and is free. And praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling me, listen, there are creative miracles in the audience. Don't keep it so that the devil will never return. When I say before my people that I can smell, physically I cannot smell. If somebody dies now, he's getting rotten, and you cover it with cloth, 
and you bring food that we eat. I cannot smell anything. But spiritually, I can smell. There are miracles in the audience that God have done. Is somebody hearing me? Now, I give you count of two. Wherever, just stand up and join us now. Quickly. Stand up now. Stand up now and join us. It's more than one. It's more than one. Run to the front. Run, 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 run. Lady, run. It's permanent. It will never return. In the name of Jesus. You will serve God in Jesus' name. God bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Testimony. Pastor, this sister yesterday, she was healed of severe headache, migraine. That's been happening to her since last semester. But she said she was healed yesterday. But we didn't share the testimony. So, did something came back like she was feeling a little headache this afternoon. She now remember what you said yesterday that he took, I cannot take. And immediately, the headache does disappear. Wow. Fruit and shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He took. Revelation is powerful. He took. And I refuse to take. I say I refuse to take. I cannot take cancer. I cannot take tumor. Why? I said, why? He took. It's permanent. In the name of Jesus. Testimony. Pastor, this sister has been having severe leg and hand pain. General body weakness. She couldn't bend down without pain. She couldn't lift something without pain. But immediately after prayer, she got totally ill. Now she's bending down. She's bend, lifting up her hands. Bend, no pain. Up. It's permanent. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Testimony. The sister coming forward has been suffering from uh, the, the diagnosis of appendicitis last year. And then she has not been having too much pain in her stomach, just a little, when she presses. But she said today, the pain became so severe. But immediately after prayer, the pain disappeared. Now she has been touching Mom, and pressing the stomach. All the pain disappeared. No more pain in her tummy again. Can you press it very well? You are not pressing it very well, Lucy. Shout hallelujah. It will, it's gone. You can never return. God bless you. Testimony. Pastor, this sister has been suffering from ulcer for the past two years. She says she has not eaten since morning, and then she has been having severe pain. But she came to this program, and immediately after prayer, the ulcer pain disappeared. Mommy, I don't want to be giving you assignment. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Mommy, sorry for giving you work to do. Shout hallelujah. Pastor, Testimony. this sister, this brother has been suffering from asthma for several years. Wow. Asthma, terrible one. He said he has been using inhaler and several things. But he said immediately after prayer. That it was as if an injection entered into his lungs and blew out something. And instantly, his chest, his lungs, everything was free. Asthma disappeared. Can we stand up wherever you are? Wave your hand to Jesus. You know the way, the way we normally test it. Now you... Oh. Olympic. You know what they do in the Olympic? They run. So if you go down there, you run, you enter like that, go to the back. I'm not saying you should walk. Though. So, eh? if truly you have been healed. Okay? Let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Testimony. <laughs> hallelujah! It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Are we okay? Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Let's God bless. Are we okay? Okay. I want you to pray one prayer finally. Lord, give me a testimony in this crusade personal testimony. 
beyond healings, there are things God wants to do. We still have one day more. Give me a testimony. Is somebody praying? Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus for all the miracles that you have received tonight. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and say, Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you for tonight. Jesus, thank you for tonight. Be grateful for everything he has done. Be grateful, be grateful to him. Jesus, thank you for tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Tomorrow is the final day. The final day is for everybody. Tomorrow is the final day, the third day. Jesus rose on the third day. Everything remaining in your life that is yet to, be, to receive the touch, tomorrow is the day. I want you to invite somebody, both staff, student, invite somebody for tomorrow's meeting. Tell somebody that a miracle is waiting for him. A miracle is waiting for her. And when you do that, God will reward you. So I want you to send to your platforms, tell everybody that tomorrow is not a day that should be missed. Tomorrow is not a day that somebody should be looking somewhere, going somewhere. Make it a day tomorrow. You know, the man of God already said it. And I want you to make it a day with God tomorrow. Amen. I want you to rise up as I invite uh, Pastor, Pastor Jumu to come forward so that we can share the grace and fellowship. And then you go. Okay, please, you can watch the program again. You can follow us. Yes, the, the program is live. You can watch it on Facebook and on YouTube media. Please help me to put it back there again. Harvest of Nations, both on Facebook and on YouTube. Please make sure you check it tonight. Watch it and share it to somebody tonight. Hallelujah. Watch the message again. Like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel too. Harvest of Nations, no space, both YouTube and Facebook. God bless you. Before our pastor share the grace, all the people that gave their life and those that came today that uh, your name have been taken down, 12 o'clock tomorrow, just come here. There's a special thing that uh, the man of God has sent the pastors to, uh, to hand over to you and to cancel you. Tomorrow by 12 o'clock, just come around here and then we are going to be using, uh, taking here to, to the 2500 hall. Two, 12 o'clock tomorrow. Come around. Those that gave their life yesterday, those that also came today, come tomorrow. Something special is waiting for you. God bless you. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah.